Hello my friends and business partners from around the world, welcome to my channel. On this video I'm going to speak about rate of return regulation applied to electric utilities. In performing this form of regulation, uh, the regulator determines the appropriate amount for the company's rate base, cost of capital, operating expenses and depreciation. And to better visualize how rate of return regulation works, I brought to you this exercise. Let me read the problem. Assume that the regulator determines that the company has a net asset base of 30 million American dollars. and after tax cost of capital of 12%, a tax rate of 25%, operating expenses of 1 million American dollars, and depreciation expenses of 1 million and a half American dollars. Further, assume that the cost of capital is comprised of 50% of debt and 50% of equity. The cost of debt is 10% and the cost of equity is 14%. Then, the exercise asks us, calculate the revenue requirement. R. Revenue requirement. Okay, people, but before calculating the revenue requirement, let's understand the formula. The formula is R equals B times R plus E plus D plus T. Capital R is what we want to calculate. B is the rate base. What is the rate base? 30 million American dollars is the amount of capital or assets the utility dedicates to providing its regulated services. Okay, and R. What is R? R is the cost of capital is the cost the utility incurs to finance its rate base, including debt and equity. E, operating expenses, which are the costs related to supplies, labor, and resale of assets. And how about the D? D is the annual depreciation expense, which is the annual accounting charge for wear, tear, and obsolescence of plant. And how about T? T is the income tax, and it's defined as all taxes not counted as operating expenses and not directly charged to consumers. Okay, if you see the expression here, the exercise gave us B, R, E, and D. We need then to calculate only T, the income tax. How are we going to calculate T? Okay, we are going to calculate T based upon the given data, the exercise says that 50% of the cost of capital is equity and uh, the cost of equity is 14%. We are going to use this and we are going to use this uh, that 25% rate, the tax rate of 25%. So, we are going to use this information that the exercise gave us. I am going to let the information, the description of the video, so 
you will understand it better. Okay, now we are going to calculate it all. How do we do it? Pay attention, read the description of the video and pay attention, you are going to understand it all. All right, my friends, let's go. Let's go calculate it. Okay, the cost of equity is 40% of the rate base. If the rate base in American dollars is 30 million, 30 million and the cost of equity is 14%, then we multiply by 0 0.14. And 0 0.14 times 30 million is going to give is going to give 4 million and 200,000 American dollars. Okay, so this is the first result that we get. The second result is this. The exercise says that 50% of this is equity. Okay, so if we multiply this by 0 0.50, we get in American dollars 2 million and 100,000 dollars. So this is the amount of money that we are going to profit after tax. After tax. We need to discover now the amount of money before taxes. Before taxes. What is going then to be the amount of money before taxes? This is, this, this result here is after taxes. The amount of money that the company is allowed to have as a profit. But to calculate the income tax, we need to understand the profit before the taxes and what we need to do is to simply divide this two million and a hundred thousand dollars by 0 0.75 because it's 100 percent minus 25 percent which is 75%. So, and this, this 25%, if we return to the problem, we are going to see that this 25% is the tax rate. Tax rate. Okay, hold it, save this, and we are going to use this in a moment. If we divide this, what we get is, Two million and eight hundred, two million and eight hundred American dollars. Okay, and if we this is the pre-tax, pre-tax profit. If we apply this here, we get the income tax, which is seven hundred thousand American dollars. And this is, this is T, this T of this expression here, okay? So, now that we know everything, now that we have discovered all of the variables, we can use the expression. We are going to do just that. We are going to use the expression and discover, discover that, discover that the revenue requirement, the revenue requirement, when we plug all the variables aforementioned, we are going to use all the variables and discover that the revenue requirement for this utility is six million and eight hundred thousand dollars okay this is the allowed revenue for a given regulatory year upon which 
the tariff to its customer will be calculated so the regulator tells the utility you are allowed to earn this okay the revenue of the company is not random no the regulator is going to impose it upon the company using this expression that we saw okay my friends this was the video that i wanted to make i hope you guys understood everything and please give a like to the video goodbye